It's a good thing Judith Albert made a bank deposit Thursday afternoon because it wasn't long after that that she was robbed at knife point. Well, my heart was pounding, but I was just praying. I was praying to God the whole time. A central nervous system condition landed Judy in a wheelchair a couple of years ago, but she doesn't let it slow her down. She was heading east on Mayfield Road under the 271 bridge when the robber came up behind her and asked for a cigarette. When I went into my purse to get the cigarette, when I came up, there was a knife right here. And he said, now we're gonna go through your purse nice and easy. This is the purse Judy had with her. The robber took the $22 that she didn't deposit at the bank, her debit card, and her prescription pain medicine, and he jumped into a gray or silver getaway car. As you can see, Judy's doing great for what she's been through, but Mayfield Heights police are furious, and they want to catch these guys. At any type of a crime like this, a robbery of anybody is just being, you know, despicable. But somebody that would, you know, stoop to, you know, obviously victimizing somebody in a wheelchair, I mean, that just, I think just society would look at that as even worse. So. In the meantime, Judy has a message for them. You're a coward. Why don't you do this, some, this to, to another man?